I've relaxed. actually tried to. I have folks. I come from Jamaica Queens. Yeah. Southside Jamaica Queens. Yeah. Quite frankly, and my fam my family is from Trinidad. I'm the first born in the United States. My uncles went into the military to yeah. show that their allegiance to the United States yeah, of America, yeah. right? And I was awarded every opportunity that was around me. Mm. And just because everyone reached down to me, mm -hmm. hey kid, we see you're trying. It's my job to pass that along. Mm -hmm. Cryptocurrency and blockchain as a platform, the way that it can disrupt every fucking company that, we, that is not on it, that is not truthful, transparent, and with lineage, right? If they don't have that, and they're fucking done. So now we're all sitting here at a time we can make new companies, we can topple regimes, mm -hmm. we can really help other folks that don't even have access, minimum 2G. Mm -hmm. But the other folks, and I, and I love what you're doing with the scholarships because that's needed so bad right now. I mean, we all know we can go to MITx and Stanford X and learn certain things, but what about the true community that can invest in your lifetime performance of education? If I'm sitting down and I paid $5,000, I just threw it out, instead of a bounty to fucking HR, mm -hmm. right? And I threw that out there, and now I can watch this, the fucking kid is on blocks. I can watch his fucking progress, his progress. I, right? I can see what he is. This is the best hiring pool ever. Yep. And employee, he knows that you've invested in him. Of course. You've given him opportunity. His family can eat now. At the end of the day, the biggest problem in society, especially like this industrial uh, age businesses, which we're evolving from into new technological age, uh, you know, digital 2.0 or 3.0 uh, is incentive models, right? So the whole idea of blockchain is governance model. What is incentive models for Bitcoin? What is incentive models for Ethereum? What is incentive models for any of these tokenized uh, ecosystems? And that's the biggest uh, issue in the world. The incentive models for people around the world are, are skewed mm. completely, right? Mm. And people get pissed off when you see like people that cheat people out of their pension plan in the United States but get $20 million fucking bonus. Bonus, and by the way, on their exit. On their exit. Right? So the incentive models are completely skewed, right? So when we're moving in the future where people will be utilizing more tokens, I think more of a reputational system as well, mm -hmm. uh, we need to uh, balance out the incentive models that it's a win-win. One of my favorite negotiation books is former uh, FBI interrogator negotiator uh, Chris Voss called uh, um, Never Split the Difference or something mm. like that. You know, both sides need to win. And the whole idea is like, how do we create an ecosystem where me as say a company, you as a, a, a as an employee, we both have a mutual mutual win win situation, right. right? The incentive models work for you. Want to work as fucking hard as possible, right? Because the incentives are in place, mm -hmm. and I want to invest as much as possible in you because the incentives are in place. Mm -hmm. So going forward, no matter what type of a crypto uh, economy that we're building or we're trying to focus on, is how do we create incentive models that everybody voluntarily raises their hands like I'm going towards this as opposed to the models today is like I'm just here for a paycheck mm -hmm. or I'm doing this just to survive or I'm here because somebody told me I have to be here mm -hmm. and we need to switch that model is like no I actually raised my hand and I'm doing this on my own right you know the, the problem is the the challenge with that is just the data collecting that data sure and and that's what I'm, I don't want to go too far left with the, with, with the uh, too far left with the pivot but what do you think that we could put into place over the next six months yeah. that can help corporations tie closer into folks globally mm. that truly, truly want to be involved with. Uh... Microphone. Oh shit, uh, man, I, I thought we were done, man. Yeah, I'm, just yeah. like, no, no, I'm trying to get my personal time and pick this motherfucker's brain. Just, <laughs> like, just shit. Yeah. <laughs> So, no, I'm sorry. So, what do you think mm. the community as a whole can work towards over the next six to 12 months to help those who don't have access to the minimum network of 2G? Who can they reach out to? How can we create I a think, I think hub? There's two things needed there. Uh, number one is they can reach out to Block Geeks if they want, but number, number, I would say that's number two. Number one actually would be they need local leaders. Hmm. I'm a firm believer in local leadership, somebody actually 
uh, standing up and saying, I take responsibility for this. I'm going to create my local meetup. Like, if you look at Bitcoin, the reason why Bitcoin actually exploded was because of fucking meetups. Right. It wasn't like the technology itself. Right. Like, 1% of people understood how the fuck it worked. Mm -hmm. The rest of the people like, this is cool. I'm going to meet up. We're very, we're very tribal creatures, right? One of my favorite books is to read is uh, Sapiens, right? Mm -hmm. By Novell. <laughs> oh, great book, right? That's how our world is based. And also, Joseph Campbell, based on mythologies. Mm -hmm. Those two together are like, there you go. Uh, that's all you need in life. Um, but... My thing is like, okay, so you're in Africa, you're in India, you're here in Singapore, and you want things uh, for your community, right? You want things to change. But obviously, you're limited by research. Like, you know, we're lucky that we're in Toronto. We're, we have access to all these different things. But let's say, for, you know, let's say, for example, you're in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. You don't have access to what I have access, right. but you do want to create some amazing local hub. Create a local meetup group. Go to meetup.com or go to whatever local uh, internet resource you have. If, if you're not even internet, maybe like word of mouth, who, whatever it may be, right? Okay. But take ownership of that responsibility okay. and start actually creating a tribe around this movement. Can folks reach out to you about creating their local tribe under this premise that we just spoke of so they can create it? Okay, yeah. great. Make sure you absolutely reach out to this gentleman. Start creating your own tribe. Make sure you own shit. You heard it here first. It's Cointelegraph. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, man, you just, now you just made my motherfucking. Dude, my pleasure, man. My pleasure. Yeah. Man. <laughs>